I hate rabbits. Kids always tease me and call me a rabbit. Bear. I want a teddy bear for my birthday. And not a bear that looks like a rabbit. I want a cute teddy bear. I really hated rabbits when I was a kid. Mom loved them. It was seriously weird. I mean, she named me Bunny for crying out loud. Enough of that. These records seem to indicate my parents were looking for something. Hmm. Soldiers who aren't descendants don't usually carry out operations in such dangerous zones. I wonder if Alpha or Nell know more about this. Hi, Bunny. Hmm, that's a serious look. What is it? Did you know that my parents were part of the Colon Special Forces? Hmm. Yes. You finally found out, huh? I, I didn't know they were part of Colon, exactly, but I knew whatever operations they were doing, they weren't ordinary. You should know, Bunny. They joined the Colon Special Forces for you. When you were very young, I remember them saying... They wanted to create a world for you where you would have nothing to fear. I think that's why they joined. What do you mean? They became soldiers because they loved you so much. They wanted to protect you, the same as many people in Albion do now. It's ironic if you think about it. Okay, I, I can't think about that now. Do you know of any descendants who might know anything about the Colon Special Forces from around that time? Sharon. She was the only one who worked with your parents. Uh, Bunny, wait. Your parents were dealing with their own issues too, so... Yeah, I get it. I just need to know what it was exactly that they were dealing with. There you are, kid. Glay filled me in. I've been waiting for you. To be honest, I don't know much about your parents. Back then, I was just the youngest recruit, and they were pros. Don't be too disappointed, though. I do have a general idea of the operations that were carried out back then. There was an incident where a relic of the ancestors excavated by Albion was stolen by the Vulgus. Everyone in the Colon Special Forces was sent to retrieve it. I think your parents were part of that operation. I'll send you the coordinates of the operation zone where I believe they were most active. You should be able to find something there. Thanks. Good luck, kid. the last time I'd say that. It's a cruel twist of fate for your parents to die on your birthday, isn't it? They... they should have come back. Ugh. I should stop moping and start analyzing these records. Okay, the relic of the ancestors incorporated some kind of technology related to controlling RK abilities associated with electromagnetic forces. The creation of my suit must be proof that this technology was recovered, right? Anais was involved in that. I I'd better ask her about it. Welcome. You look like you need to ask me something. Are those operation records? I'd like to know about the operation that my parents were part of. What happened? What happened? 
Hmm. Sure. Why not? I remember it very clearly. At the time, we had to find a way of recovering the relic of the ancestors. It was our top priority. Many people died during the operation. But these records you've brought are incomplete. We need to find a way to restore them so we can learn more of the specifics. If we retrieve some of the components from the battlefield where the operation was carried out, I might be able to restore the records. I need you to collect data chip fragments from the Agna Desert. I'll show you how to identify the ones you need. We have enough data, oh, but there's an unexpected problem. The security measures that have been placed on the records are restricting my access. What a nuisance. I could use Albion's internal security tools, but that will mean the records will become publicly available. That means the circumstances around your parents' deaths will become public knowledge. I doubt that's what you want. Um, no. I don't want to publicize it to everyone in Albion. I understand. Well, there is another way. It's a little unorthodox. We can use the Volgus's security bypass tool. As it happens, there are some Order of Truth cultists who are after Albion's data. We can use that to work against them and help us. Ah, the records have been restored. Let's see. It seems that your parents were instrumental in recovering the relic of the ancestors. But the records don't specify the location from where their last transmission was sent. Hmm, that will make it difficult to trace. It won't be easy. But yes, I think there is a way. I've been working on a piece of technology that amplifies and traces specific communications frequencies. This is a good opportunity to test it. I've built a prototype. We may be able to use it to trace the coordinates of the last transmission. However, the device won't last long because it tends to overheat. I'll need to find a fix for that at some point. But we can test it with components from a Colossus. Specifically, I'll need some components with heat-resistant properties. Bring me a communications component from a pyromaniac. We can use this device to set up a trace and get the results we need. It shouldn't be long. Hmm. All right, we have the final coordinates. And it looks like my device is melted. I'll definitely have to make some improvements. That's not important right now! Where is the location? Come on! Impatient as ever, Bunny. I'm almost there. Hang on. Hmm. I... I know this place. The lab. The location was under our noses this whole time. The lab? Do you mean the Magister lab? It was abandoned when a proper research facility was built in Albion. It won't be easy to get there now with the Volgus in the way. I have a backup emergency device that can teleport you to the lab's entrance. I built it a long time ago, but this will be the first time it'll actually be used. Right. Mom. Dad. <laughs> uh, focus, bunny, focus! I have to find what my parents left behind. That's what's important. Get out of my way! Move! <laughs> the signal is really strong right around here. Dares disturb me as I meditate. Do I have no visitors? Like the ones from long ago. You, you must want to die soon. Who's there? Show yourself! Where are you while you're saying such crap? For whom? You smell familiar. Like those fools who threw a grenade to try to take me with them. You smell the same as that. If I kill you, Maybe my wound would hurt less. Ha! <laughs> You're gonna die! Not me! Prepare yourself! I picked up a signal! There's something in the next area! This is where the trail ends. There must be clues around here. I need to find them. Fast! <laughs> no chance! Again? Ugh! Seriously? Stop getting in my way! 
my wound becomes extremely painful around this time every year. Maybe it will hurt less once I kill you. Where are you? Show yourself now! I'll smash you to pieces! Come here! Let me end my pain. Stop! Fine! I'll make it a shocking great end for you! Ha 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 ha! I will kill you just <laughs> like I did the other two. Is it over? Okay. I should go talk to an ace. Oh, I see. So that's what happened. Albion owes your parents a great debt. You can be proud of them. Your suit was created based on the data transmitted by your parents. It's like you're continuing their legacy. This is the final voice file. We reconstructed it based on the data we found. Would you like to hear it? The last... voice file? Okay, I'll listen. Good. After you've listened to it, go and see Sharon. She said she has something to tell you. Hang in there, Kate. The data transmission should be done soon. Oh, the Vulgus will be here soon. Let's get ready. Kate, there's something I'm going to tell you. Bunny has potential. It's extraordinary. Just before we left your tantrum. I could feel an electromagnetic force coming from her that made my hands tingle. And it seems to be connected to her emotions. I'm sure it's arcane. It's what we were afraid of. Ugh, damn it. So we won't need to look into arcane suppression technology then. I guess our daughter won't live the normal life that we wanted her to. <clears throat> become a soldier even if she didn't have any arcade abilities. She's not someone who can just sit back and watch while things go sideways outside of Albion. Don't be an idiot. Bunny takes after me more. That's why it's my fault. I pass on an ability that'll be too much for her to bear. The only thing she gets from you is the same stubbornness. Don't blame yourself. It's no one's fault. It's just... It, the universe has plans for her. I'm her dad. I didn't even get her a birthday present. I really wanted to get her a teddy bear. That I made myself. And she definitely takes after you. Look at how... how adamant she was about not wanting to ride it. Uh, I'd be tired of it too, the way you keep going on about rabbits. <laughs> uh, look, the data transmission is complete. And the Vulgus are headed our way. I don't know if this message will reach you, honey. Happy birthday, my little rabbit. I love you so much. I hope you can forgive your poor father. Uh, I'm sorry we left you to fend for yourself. Happy birthday. I'm sorry I'm not there to give you a big hug. I'm so, so sorry, sweetheart. I'll always love you, my little girl. <laughs> I love you, my little rabbit. I love you. Welcome back, kid. I heard you've managed to clear some things up. That's good. Thank you, Sharon. I've been sorting through the belongings of the members of the Colon Special Forces in Albion, whose deaths haven't been disclosed. Your parents' belongings are probably amongst them. If I find any, I'll send them to you. And make sure you thank everyone who's been looking out for you. Especially Glay. 
You can't act like a kid forever, you know? I know that! What sort of person do you think I am? Don't worry, I'm gonna do it right now. Hello, Bunny. Do you still feel conflicted about your parents? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Bunny, I... Honestly, I would sell my soul to the Vulgus if it meant I could have my daughter back. The fact that you were fortunate enough to recover some of the records about your parents... Part of me envies you for that. I'm sure your parents felt the same way about you as I do about my daughter. Because parents are like that. I think I understand a little better now. I'm glad. And it's a little late. But happy birthday, Bunny. Thank you, Gleg. I should report back to Alpha. Ah, Bunny. I've been expecting you. Thanks to you, we've been able to recover a good number of files and materials. And since we've been able to verify the records related to the operation that your parents were involved with, there will be special commendations for those who were killed in action. Yeah? Grandma would like that. And this is from Sharon. She said it seems to be something your parents left behind. A memento? There was something. <laughs> I didn't like rabbit dolls, so a teddy bear. Congratulations. Congrats, Bunny. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bunny. Congrats! <laughs> How did you know it was my birthday? We all knew. We were all just waiting to throw you a surprise party. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Congratulations, Bunny. <laughs> Heck, this cake is soggy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it still tastes good. So what's the problem? <laughs> Valby, what are you doing? Uh, I can't see. <laughs> hey, what the hell?